Ma Mashele Masoud of Mvita Mishimboko Likoni and Zamza Muhammad women rep. Remember earlier on, as we saw in Mombasa, initially they had talked to the OCPD of Kisauni constituency and they had agreed that they will have a peaceful protest. And also in Mombasa, remember that the civil society groups had been given a green light by the police to continue with their protest. But as of yesterday night, you know, the police revoked that um, green light, if I, if I may say so. And of course, this early in the morning we saw them gather up and we equally saw them you know have an altercation with the police officers saying that they will have peaceful protests and that they will not disrupt you know the businesses and events that are taking place in Mombasa but of course that situation changed quite fast when they were you know uh, joined by these leaders and of course tear gas was dispersed to protesters but I understand uh, we now have Bramwell Buire who is joining us live from Kisumu Bramwell talk to us what's happening where you are well, good morning, Ashley. As you've said, yes, you are here in Kisumu, and we're following up these Saba Saba demonstrations that are slated to happen here in Kisumu town. Of course, the normal Kondele area is, all, is, is always the first spot that uh, any demonstration called, political demonstration called in the, count, in the county or in the country, always starts there. And of course, everything there is a standstill. The roads have been barricaded. Already we have some bonfires that have been lit along that road. People are still, uh, are still gathering in large numbers there to, in, a, in a move to ensure that they can now search their way to this CBD. But I have to tell you that where I'm standing round, uh, right now is a roundabout. Something like a roundabout where you have the county commissioner's office. On my left we have the state lodge and then we have some basic... Uh, government amenities like banks here. This is the place that uh, we are expecting the protesters after they have started their march here, they will be moving here to present their petition to the county commissioner according to their plan. That was their plan yesterday, that after their march from Kondele tomorrow, they will be coming straight to this county commissioner's office here to present their manifesto and uh, their petition just to, to complain about the high cost of living, as they are saying. But uh, at the, at the gates there is the state lodge. That is where a lot of activities happen here when we have demonstration. The demonstrators, since the first day the demonstrations were called, they have been trying to gain access to the entry, uh, access to the state lodge. But today we are seeing there's a high contingent of police officers. The roads have been barricaded just to ensure that any vehicle that passes using this road to the du to Dunga Beach is being checked and uh, and fixed to ensure that only people who are certified and they are not harmful uh, or they are not carrying harmful gadgets are allowed to pass through this road. No one will be allowed to uh, to gain access to the state lodge but uh, we will be moving to the to the Kondele area just to see exactly what is happening but i have to tell you ashley again that the nyamasaria area this is the road that uh, comes from kisumu to nairobi it has also been notorious in the past scenarios but today things remain pretty calm on that road that is not the case on the road from the cbd Busia County and the Otongolo area, we have seen there is a number of uh, young men, rowdy men, who have lit bonfires there. They have barricaded the roads just to ensure that any vehicle that is coming in, be it a personal vehicle, be it a matatu that is trying to gain it access to the CBD, has to make has to do away with some shillings to the rowdy youths to ensure that they gain to they gain their access to the CBD. But the, the, there's also high contingents of police officers who are manning this particular area just to ensure that no one comes to the CBD. At the, at, at the Patels, that is, uh, is, is the gateway to the CBD from Kondele, we're having police officers there. When you go to Aga Khan area that allows people from Busia to gain the CBD, we're also having so many people, so many police officers there just trying to ensure that everything is at standstill, just to ensure that no one comes in and causes any problems here. Today, I different from the other area the other days that we are having demonstrations here we can still see some border border operators going on with their business although the number of 
pedestrians in this town is low. Businesses have totally shut down in the CBD. No one wants to take the risk of opening his or her business because of the past or fear of the uncertainty. We've seen in the past demonstrations where goods, goods have been vandalized. We have seen shops, kiosks, and even supermarkets being vandalized here. So I think that is the reason why these people do not want to take that chance of opening their businesses today. But this is exactly the real scenario here in Kisumu CBD. Of course, we'll be trying to gain our access to Kondele area and see exactly what is happening. Move to Nyamasaria area and see what is happening. And there's also a famous slum here, Nyalenda. That is also another area that uh, is always a cause of concern whenever we have demonstrations. So we'll also be trying to go there. Remember the other time we had demonstrations, they went to the UDA offices and burnt it down. So we'll also be moving there just to see what are these young men saying, what are they up to, and what exactly they are doing. But up to now, Ashley, there is no much cause of worry. There's no much cause of alarm in Kisumu. So we're going, we are going to wait. Of course, here, things might be clear now in the next